Welcome to Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues here in beautiful downtown New London. It's a sunny day in the middle of winter and it's it's welcome. We've had a rough winter. Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. Denver and the uh, Seattle. Just to give you a little timeline here. Uh, we're going to make a little lobster mac and cheese. So put a good amount of butter. Some garlic. We're going to make the cream sauce. Has some chopped fennel. See, I use the green and everything. Just nothing but the core. We cut the core out. Red bell pepper and uh, Vidalia onions. Sweet onions. What I like to do is, uh, I would like to preheat my cream and milk. I'm going to do a little milk and half and half. But you see, I already got the skillet. I always like to see how hot the skillet is. See? We know that's hot. You add cream into that, right? The fat is going to burn and stick to the bottom. So whenever you've got a hot pan, you're going to boil some milk. I always add a little bit of uh, water into it first. Is that, is that like warm, hot milk when we're making a cream sauce, you know? And sometimes you got to wait till it... Uh, if you wait a lot of times until... If you put it in cold into your uh, sauce, and a lot of times you burn, you scorch in the bottom. So, that's what we're going to do here. Just cook this down for a few minutes. Let, uh, let the uh, vegetables get a little translucent. And then we're going to add the flour. We'll be right back. Okay, so now our onions are translucent. Peppers and the uh, fennel. I'm going to put in some flour to make the roux. Flour and butter for the roux. Okay, make it nice, tightens up. I'm going to use a little bit of blackened seasoning because we want a little bit of color into it. I'm actually going to add a little bit of marinara sauce at the end, as, you know, just for the color. To give it the pink color for the lobster mac and cheese. I was watching a little video the other day about, um, it was Chipotle, about Chipotle restaurants. And you know what a mix is for, sometimes you hold on the end. Boy, it's, it's, it's hard on your arms, right? So they were mixing things and they grabbed the spoon nice down low. So you got the leverage. You know, we can always learn something. See? Kind of grab it down a little low. It's a lot easier on your arms. Hey, Tommy, grab me that whisk, please. So I like to cook the rawness out of the flour just for a minute. Okay. I'm gonna to switch to a, a whisk. We got a little bit of uh, there's a little bit left of that milk that we're not heating up. I'll add a little bit in here. Uh, sometimes you know you add the cold, cold milk or cream, and that works out the lumps. See? Work out the lumps. Add a little bit of that. Uh, Tommy, give me the garlic powder and the uh, tarragon, please. Got my main Tommy Walters back here. Let's see. Tarragon. I'd say maybe, maybe a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Garlic powder. Granulated garlic. Okay, get all the lumps. See that uh, blackened season in the paprika? Gave it a nice pink color. Okay, and then I've got some uh, nice Vermont cheddar and my good old American cheese. God bless America. God bless American cheese. You know, if you don't like it, you know what? Tough luck. I love it. And you know what's good about American? It kind of holds the sauce together a little bit too. You know, if you're making an big batch of Alfredo sauce. But American cheese, I believe they use real dairy in it, don't they, Tom? I think so. Huh? Yeah. A lot of people turn their nose up on it, but I tell you what. 
That's one of the first things I learned how to make was a cheese drain. Took toast, browned it on one side under the broiler, turn it over, put American cheese, sliced tomato, at the end put some nice crisp bacon on top and just finish it under the broiler. That's one of, still one of my favorite sandwiches, open faced. Okay, so we got the uh, American in there, the Vermont cheddar goes in. Parmesan. Oh, you know what else I want to put in there? Some tomato. A little bit of tomato. Diced tomato. Tomato and lobster, you know, it's all got that nice, uh, nice color. Focus on that, Bob. Got it? Can you get it? Yeah, see that sauce? Tom, you grab me a couple spoons, I can taste this. Yeah. Give me just a little bit of marinara sauce, Tommy. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. yeah. Excellent. I always uh, wait for the salt and pepper to the end because you know so that cheese is salty add a little bit of uh, salt and pepper see what I mean with you here Bob see we added the hot milk and, and uh, half and half see it's already up to the boil the cheese is already melting you'd be here for you'd be here for half a day stirring it so you don't burn the bottom and uh, so we're just going to let this off to the side here, and uh, we're going to boil our pasta. Boil our pasta. I got a little trick. I'm going to show you with that pasta here in a minute. Let that pot, let that water come up to a full boil. Turn our sauce down here. That's it. Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. We'll be right back. Okay, like I said, I'm going to put a ladle, ladle two of my marinara sauce, optional just to give it a little more pink color a little flat, add a little more flavor into it see that as they say I appeal is half the meal so okay so we got our water boiling we got a big night working tonight Tommy where's that uh, rigatoni? me too please okay And whatever we don't sell tonight, we'll have it for uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Our, our uh, Patriots not in it, so I don't really care who wins. Maybe uh, either way. I like. I didn't like Peyton when he was working with when he was playing for uh, Indianapolis. Too much direct competition with the uh, Patriots. But now, since he came back, got hurt, I think I'm going to root for the Broncos. I used to live in Denver. Mile high city. Nice city. Okay. Cover that pasta. Bring it up to a boil. We're going to cook it just a little bit under. Uh, so just still a little al dente. That way there, we'll cool it down. And we'll mix it with our sauce. And uh, mix it when they're both are kind of cool. So we don't overcook our pasta. You want to see that sauce here? Let's do a final test on it. Oh, you know what? Very nice. But, just a little zip, a little red pepper flake. Just a little bit. A couple pinches here and there. Pick up the palate a little bit. A little spice, never hurts. So, I'm going to put this sauce off to the side to cool down now and wait for our pasta to, to finish cooking. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to show you a little trick here is I don't like to rinse my pasta that much. So I pull it off 
pull it off just you know still a little al dente okay and then uh, cool it down you know at room temperature or you know you want to sit on your back deck maybe watch out for the birds don't get it <laughs> but uh I like to do this because you know we'll take it and put it right in the refrigerator cool it down quick and then um, so you still have the starch on it and so then when you reheat it, it's just like it's like you've cooked the pasta to order I love doing it like this then you can even like in the restaurant what you do is you can portion it out how big a portion you want wrap it in plastic then you cook just take it right away. It's already portioned out. You don't have to measure. You get consistency. That's it. We're going to put it in the back and uh, cool it down. And then let the sauce cool. Mix it at our lobster. And we'll, I'll show you how we're going to set it up after. And put this in the refrigerator. And they walk in there, Tommy. Okay, so we got our pasta cooled. Our sauce is cooled down to, you know, warm. This is not really going to overcook the pasta. So, got that, and then I've got, uh, so I'm going to tell you, half the lobster meat, put it inside, and then we're going to garnish the top. Go up underneath so you don't wreck the pasta. Give me a little bit of half and half, Tommy. I'm just going to thin it out just a little bit. Next time. Okay. Just a little bit. good portion well that's a big portion and then uh, I'll put a little more sauce over the top give me those breadcrumbs Tommy and then put a little more lobster meat so they can see that right a little bit of a uh, little bit of breadcrumb a little bit of Parmesan right in the oven for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Beautiful, got the eggs as a female lobster. See, we got the eggs on there, nice. Okay. All right, let's check that mac and cheese out, Bob. What do you think? There we go. Yeah, nice and hot right out of the oven. Still uh, nice al dente. Mm -hmm. Got real nice flavor with the lobster. It should be a big seller tonight, we hope. A little spice from the red pepper flake. Nice uh, color with the tomato and uh, a little paprika in the sauce. And that, you know, you can add chicken, uh, shrimp, anything. Uh, you don't have to do just lobster because that sauce, you know, we didn't put any uh, lobster in the, in the sauce. So, but it's Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues here at uh, Chaplin's Restaurant. 
165 Bank Street, New London, Connecticut. Beautiful deep water port. Ferry boats coming in, trains coming by. Uh, Amtrak comes through here. Soon to be home of the uh, Coast Guard Museum, National Coast Guard Museum. It says it's going to bring us 500,000 to a million uh, tourists a year. We're excited about it. Uh, Bob Jacko on camera, Bob Jacko Productions, my friend Gaspar in the house, Tommy Walters back here. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy this and uh, make it for your Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. Ciao.